So let's see how we can install PHP and install Laravel and we can run our first project. So first of all, we will need PHP and then we will need Composer and then using Composer, we will install Laravel. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, if you have already installed XAMPP or PHP and Composer, you can skip this part. But first we need, to, uh, we need PHP, right? So to install PHP, you need to install XAMPP. So I'm typing XAMPP here and click on this link. I also have this link in the description, so you can just directly click on the link in the description. Now let's download for PHP 8, right? Now I'm downloading for Windows, you can download for Linux or Mac. So I'll download the 64 bit version. Now the download should start automatically. And if the download did not start, you can click here and the download will start. So let me just click here. And the download is started as you can see. Now, as you can see, ZAMP is downloaded. Now, click on open file or go to your downloads folder and double click to open it. And the installation should start. As you can see, the installer is now opening. Okay, so you can see this message that says if you have an antivirus running in this stuff, but it does not matter. You can just click on yes. Click on okay. Click next, click next again, and this is where your XAMPP will be installed. Click next again. I already had an uh, old version installed, so I'm getting this message. But in your case, you will not see this message. Click next. Okay, so it is saying XAMPP is not empty. Again, I am I'm having to do this extra step because I already had it installed. You will not see this message. So I'll just delete this. And I click next, next again, and now XAMPP is installing. So while this is installing, this will install PHP and uh, some other stuff, but we only need PHP for now. We will go ahead and install Composer. Now Composer is a package dependency manager for PHP, and this is what we'll be using to install Laravel and create a Laravel project. So uh, you can go to get Composer, org again i'll have the link in the descriptions and click on download as you can see it says uh, the installer which requires that you already have php installed is what uh, it says here but you already have php installed that is not a problem now you can click on this to download composer so composer is now downloading Okay, it is downloaded. Let's see what's up with progress here. Okay, let's wait a while. Wait a while because we need PHP to be installed before we can uh, install Composer using this. So let's wait until PHP is installed. Now, as you can see, uh, setup has uh, this saying setup is installed. Finishing XAMPP. Now you can uncheck this because we don't need to open XAMPP right now. Click on finish, and now let's install Composer. Double click on your setup file and it will open. Now you can install for all users, so any user on your computer will be able to access it or you can just install only for the current user. I click install for all users, click next and this is the PHP that will be used for our composer, let me just install, that is fine, click next again, no need to enter anything here, just click next, click next again and our composer is installed. So. Uh, as you can see it is installed and it is saying you may need to restart your computer so let's check if it is installed or not so first open your command windows type in command here and if we type composer let's see what happens so yeah it is saying composer version is 2.6 and we have all the stuff here so now finally we are auto installing our laravel Type Laravel and click on this. That is the Laravel website. And here, just click on Get Started. Now, if you scroll down here, uh, as you can see, it is saying your first Laravel project. And to create a Laravel project, it says just uh, type this command. So, what you need to do is you need to enter this command, but where do you want to create your project? 
So let's say you want to close your project in your desktop. So your terminal needs to be open in your desktop. So how do you do that? Hold shift and right click and open or your window here. All right. Now here is where you copy that command or paste that command and hit enter. And this is the name example dash app. You can name it anything. You can call it my app or my Laravel app or whatever you want. Now, as you can see, it is creating a Laravel, Laravel project app, example app, and it is downloading all the required stuff. It will take quite some time. So as you can see, this is now complete. If I go to my desktop and refresh it, as you can see, the example app project is created, and inside you will see the default folders for the Laravel app or Laravel website or project. Now, CG example app is just us going inside that folder that is change directory. And what is the name of our project? It is example dash app. So we will go CG example hit tab auto complete hit enter. Now, as you can see, we are inside this folder. Now we need to just type PHP artisan server. And this will run our project. Hit enter. And as you can see, it is saying server running at this. And this is the bare bones Laravel project. And you can change it according to your need. So I'll control click and this is open now. So as you can see, our Laravel project is running. Now you can modify uh, and create your own stuff here. This is the Laravel directory structures, routes, database conflicts and all that. You can delete this page and create your own page. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.